Well, it wasn't a pro precise moment. The, 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 the way in which uh, I came to this realization was that um, I, was, I was trying to, uh, to evade a theorem which had been proved ab about this way of breaking symmetries uh, in, 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 in uh, particle physics which implied that there would be, um, would exist uh, massless particles of, of, of no, without spin. And this, this theorem uh, made the, this kind of theory uh, unacceptable because uh, such particles were not, not known. Uh, and uh, the, 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 the theory which, in which these occurred had been um, formulated f four years early, earlier by <coughs> Yoichiro Nambu, who got a share of the 2008 prize, and uh, Jeffrey Goldstone. And it was uh, r really, for me, a, a matter of realizing that the uh, uh, theorem as proved had a flaw in it. There were, there were certain mathematical axioms which you need to prove any kind of theorem, uh, which certain kinds of, 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 of field, theory of fields didn't obey. And the prime example of the kind of field which didn't obey these axioms was Maxwell's electromagnetic field uh, as, as it occurs in quantum electrodynamics. Quantum electrodynamics is a theory which doesn't involve this phenomenon of symmetry breaking, but once it was clear that there were fields of the Maxwell type which, which didn't obey the, the axioms, then the way was open to introducing these fields of this type into the theory, uh, kind of theory which Nambu had started of, of symmetry breaking, uh, and that's essentially what, what, uh, what happened uh, to me, o over a weekend um, during which I, I gradually realized that I knew two things which had to be brought together. It was related to the fact that I had read papers uh, not long before by Julian Schwinger, who was one of the people who shared the Quantum Electrodynamics Prize, um, and uh, that was 65, I think, uh, and he had a way of formulating uh, that theory which was a little bit different from what most people preferred, and it it resulted in some equations which w were uh, explicitly uh, vi violating, apparently violating uh, the rules of uh, Einstein relativity theory, uh, but the uh, physics was not affected by this. It was just a uh, uh, a peculiarity of the formal mathematics, uh, and so it was. It was my recollection of of equations written by Julian Schwinger, which which made me see that this was what had to be done. But it was a process which wasn't sudden. It it was during the weekend, and I had to go back to my office on the Monday and check that I hadn't made hadn't made a mistake about this.